This is the Mossel Bay Advertiser. I'm with Berenice Kuchana, a local Mossel Bay resident. She's written a book, a soul-bearing book, uh, very exciting to read, fast-paced, and uh, it describes her experiences with her uh, divorce and also single parenthood. Berenice, welcome. Thank you, thank you, Mossel Bay Advertiser, for having me. <laughs> Pleasure. What prompted you to write your book? Yeah, there's a few things, but uh -huh. the main thing for me, or the two main things for me was when I went through my divorce and, and singleness and brokenness, mm -hmm. uh, I needed a manual like that. I needed, uh -huh. if I had this book that time, I think there would have been a lot of mistakes that I wouldn't make. Okay. And, and the second thing is the word, Romans 10 verse 17 say, faith comes by hearing, mm -hmm. hearing through the word of God. And I believe when you tell your story, when someone hears your story, it gives faith. If someone, this is my story, mm -hmm. and if someone goes through a divorce or brokenness uh, and they read my story, it will stir their faith, it will stir their hope to know that they can come out here. Show us the cover, Berenice. Yes, it. Ah, great. <laughs> Ekkes eight, munis groini, groi. Yes. So, I'm basically, I'm out. Uh, don't get scorched in the fire. You're out of the fire, but grow from yes. that experience. Yes. Berenice, why do you think it was that your divorce and having to parent on your own hit you so hard? Why the extreme sense of uh, rejection, self-hatred that you felt? Um, I mean, some women might have just written off their ex and thought, oh, here's a bad apple, I'm moving on. Tell me why you experienced this acute pain. Um, number one, marriage is a covenant. And, and when you are born again, it hits you. To break a covenant, it hits you. Okay. And um, I describe the divorce as a death without a grief. Okay. It's, it's death without a grave, and, and, uh -huh. and a grave is a form of, of closure. And, and if you don't have the grave, there's no closure, okay. and, and there's no place to go mourn. And, and I've, that's why divorce is not easy. It's mm -hmm. not easy. It comes with a lot of different spirits, emotions, and brokenness. It comes with rejection. It's, okay. it's, it's strong weapons that comes after you the day you walk out of that court. Wow, okay. Um, and just following on from that, why do you think um, one person would find this experience unbearable, um, whereas another person just sort of gets on with life uh, after a divorce? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe there's two kinds of divorce. Okay. The one is to divorce to no one. No hope, no plans, no dreams, not knowing what the day holds tomorrow. Okay. And the other one is to divorce to someone, to divorce to a plan B, to divorce okay. to... So there's, there's, there's different reasons for divorce. The, the latter, the, the one divorcing to a plan, I cannot talk about because I divorced to no one. Right. And that, I believe, is the difference in the way it will affect you. I understand. Uh, tell me, was it a process deciding to write your book because you really bared your soul? Did it take a while to pluck up the courage? Speak about the process for us. Oh yes, it was. Um, this book is not very thick, but I can tell you it, it took me very long to write this book. Really? Because like you said, it, it, it's part of my soul. It's, it's, it's my emotions that I put out here. And I prayed when I started writing this book, I prayed, prayed to the Holy Spirit that he would take me back to each circumstance. Wow. Because once you hold, it's, it's, it's difficult to, to relate to how did I feel that time. You will have the memory, but yes. the feeling won't be there anymore. Okay. So I asked the Holy Spirit to take me back to the scene so that I can put it out the way I felt that moment. And I must tell you, there were times that I would close a chapter and I just cried. Wow. And I could not go on further because I felt the same way I felt that time. Wow. And then I would, after months even, um, take the courage and open up again and start again. Really? So yes, really, it, it is 
like the Holy Spirit was holding that pen. Fantastic. So it was a cathartic and a experience of deliverance and yes. and growth for you and healing as yes, well. In yes. Writing yes. It. That's wonderful to hear. How, so in all, how long did it take uh, you to write your book? I think about two years. Okay. Um, two years. And did you get any advice and help from others? Not really. I, okay. I wrote the manuscript and I knew that I'm going to publish this book, but I didn't know when, what and how. But I wrote it and I did not get really, but I found people like uh, um, proofreaders and and... Yes. and editors that, that, that helped me. Fantastic. Um, and tell me the Berenice today is different from the Berenice yes. then described in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Speak about your journey from then until now. Yes, yo, you know, when I read this book, I sometimes ask myself, was this me? <laughs> was this me? Sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like, the Berenice that time is definitely not the Berenice of today, really. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so the Berenice that time was broken, mm -hmm. shy. Wow. Um, I would say she was confused, uh -huh. not knowing where she's going, what is going on with her life. She felt like she's been punished. They